No, I'm not out of travel vlogs. I just really wanted to make this brand. Maybe I'll put some like cute stuff around here to lighten the mood. <laughs> so one of the biggest problems that ESL teachers face. Here we go. First, a little bit of background about me. I was born and raised in Canada. I went through school here. I graduated university here. I got my teaching certificate here. And, and then I went to Korea to teach for two years. I came back in November. It's stuck at home because of coronavirus. And so I've been looking for jobs to teach online. And obviously I have experience in teaching ESL. So I've been looking at ESL jobs. So the market to teach ESL online is actually huge. Why? Because it's like the whole world, okay? Everyone wants to learn English at some point, apparently. So for me, I thought it would be really easy to find a job. I have the requirements, I'm certified, I'm experienced, and I'm ready to teach. I applied to many companies, and when, they fir when I first sent in my resume, they saw it, they quickly emailed me back, like immediately. They were like, we love your resume, we love, um, we love your credentials, and we would love you to come on board. So please continue this recruitment process. I was like, heck yes, let me start teaching. I miss having students. So I made the demo video. I was very professional, taught like I would normally teach, and I sent it in. A week later, after hearing nothing, I got an email. And let me read you the email. It said, quote, we are currently unable to go forward with your application. We have tweaked our requirements so that only top teachers can come teach with us. That's it. And then I went online to look at some reviews of the company. And not just this one company, like many companies in the same area, right? So like teaching ESL online to Chinese students. A lot of the reviews said they got rejected in the same way. Okay, they were qualified, they were experienced, and they had no explanation as to why they didn't continue the recruitment process. So it's not just me. I also talked to other online ESL teachers who have experience teaching online. Okay, maybe it was, maybe it was that I didn't have experience online. Okay, whatever. I talked to other people who had experience online, had the same credentials. They also got rejected. But there was one thing that we had in common. We didn't exactly look white. So from submitting my resume to the demo video to receiving my email, the only real thing that changed was they saw what I looked like. So if there is no explanation as to why, I can explain. They're racial profiling. So I get that a lot of these companies are businesses and parents give money to them. And so parents kind of have final judgment as to are they a qualified teacher. And so on some circumstances, there's that level of systematic racial profiling in there. So I was talking to another online ESL teacher earlier and she told me that she got fired for the company she was working for even though her students loved her and the other teachers loved her. It was because the parent rating wasn't good. I get it. If you're a parent and you're paying all this money for your child to get tutored, you want the best, right? But the thing is, the parents, their English aren't that good. So when they're judging a teacher and their ESL teaching skills, it's not like what they're teaching, but more of what they look like, you know? They, they just have this mindset that only if you're white looking do you speak perfect English. So it, it like doesn't matter if you're born or raised here, if you, if you went to school here, if English is your first language, if you're certified, if you're experienced. I don't care none of that. It's just what you look like. The color of your skin. Luckily, this case wasn't as bad in Korea. Um, from my experiences, they were really good, especially with GOE. But I do have some stories that I would like to share, um, but I'll, I'll leave that in part two because this video is getting long. I just don't understand why people can't get over the fact that it doesn't matter what color your skin is, you're still a cool, awesome person, you know? So stop looking at people by the color of their skin or what they look like, okay? 
Anyway, I hope you liked this rant. It wasn't too long and it wasn't too dark. I know most of my videos are very light and like fun and this one I'm just like a little angry. <laughs> Uh, my, my Korean students would always be like, angry? And I'm like, yeah, angry! <laughs> when I taught emotions, I was like, this is angry! And they're like, ah, angry! And I'm like, like little devil horns? <laughs> it's like the cutest thing ever. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like and a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!